Welcome back friends. Last episode, we took a big detour to grab ourselves the Amber Light, the strongest demon bane weapon in the game. Now it is time to focus on a huge set of goals. Let's call them the UIM Prif goals. The first step is to complete another Grandmaster quest called the Song of the Elves. This will unlock Prif Dennis and the Gauntlet for Bofa and Crystal Armor. Gauntlet will supply me with lots of money as well for an upcoming grind. Prif also unlocks more important UIM specific things. Many of you already know how good the Bofa is, but it's even more busted on the UIM. The Bofa is storable via stash unit, just like the Emberlight, and it requires no ammo, which makes it the perfect long-term range weapon for ultimates. I am ready and excited to move on from having to prep a bow and ammo every single time I want to use range on the ultimate. If you guys are excited for this Elf City chapter of the UIM, make sure to like the video to support the channel and let me know. Enjoy! I figure I would tie in the diaries with some of the elves because the lamps from the diaries will give me some good experience. We need about 137,000 experience, so we have lamps from the diaries and we also have lamps from the museum. Alright, uh, already I guess we'll do first. We're just gonna go down the list. Alright, we need to get some strawberries for this one. Oh, I got it! Yo, one kill. Nice. Here we go, Tower Life done. Let's get this task going. Here we go. Dude, this medium diary is dog shit on the Ultimate Iron Man, dude. I gotta spend 200k just to repair the staff and then another 200k to upgrade it. Oof. Nice, that's another task done. And I think I'm gonna try to keep this. I'm gonna gradually get this Black Mystic top and bottom. In the coming days and then i'll make the stash unit for it so that way i don't have to waste all right we're working on the desert diaries right now because i'm waiting for the strawberry task to finish for the arty a hey, easy diary done nice there we go a necros lament done 76 crafting hell yeah Ooh, crystal tools very cool did you guys even know that there were goats in this spot <laughs> I used to kill these guys here for herb training in this random ass spot right here. There we go. Medium desert diary done. I think we can go straight for the hard. So there we go. Hey, sweet. Hard desert done. All right. Next is Falder easy and medium, I guess. Oh, my character looks so derpy, man. What the hell is this shit? Things you find out when you go for diaries. Next is medium. That's done. A medium folder diary done. All right, we're going to stop there. There's just too much going on in this hard one. So we'll move on to Frimnik, I guess. There we go. Easy for me. Time to do some quests for the medium. A Olaf quest done. Sweet. Okay, dwarf cannon done. A between our walk is done. Holy shit. I totally forgot this part of the dungeon exists. Use a pet around your penthouse and then pick it up off the ground. Oh, what? That was it. A medium diaries done. I think I will go for the heart as well. Because all that I need to do is throw in a miscellaneous. So that's not too bad. All right. This is all I can do for today. But I did get a lot done, as you can see. I have a bunch of XP lamps. This is our diary progress so far. It's getting pretty nice. We're going to... Continue the free me and the rest of these. Pretty much everything but wilderness. All right, let's quickly just put everything on our blur. Let's go 7,500. Okay, I might be able to get to 70 off the rest of these tasks that I can do. All right, it's time to get the dark mystic top and bottom. We're going to do gargoyles first. And I want to unlock the Gargoyle Smasher. Quite a bit of points, but it will make this a lot more AFK. Because we're going to be ranging and stuff. And I'm going to be editing. So. Oh, sick. I actually did a diary. Oh, sick. This works. Oh, and I got a free CA as well. Hell yeah. I don't even have to use the throwing one. Hey, nice. I got Adamant Boots. <laughs> No way, I got the Grand Amal first before I got the Mystic Top. 300 kills in so far, so halfway to the drop rate for the Mystic 
A nice A2 fletching. Oh, I can make amethyst arrows. That's actually pretty, pretty big for maybe the future. But yeah, we're basically on the way for dark mystic job. We haven't gotten it, unfortunately. These steel bars, though, from going dry at the gargoyles is pretty good. I'm at like, <laughs> I've gotten like, as you can see here, 345 so far. So it's going to be really good for construction training. Oh, I got it. Yes, let's go. Dark mystic top. And one more item left for this stupid stash unit. Dang. Okay. I basically got like two monarchs. All right. So we are using up these mithril bars before we continue. And this is going to get us 75 smithing. Oh, here we go. 76 smithing and all the mithril bars are used up. We can like two shot the, these guys. Oh my god. Yes. Easy two shot. All right, at least these guys are going to go really fast because I don't need to be on a Slayer task since the Sav Amulet. All right. Apparently, there's two Scarecrow Diary tasks, so there we go. I just grabbed it from my Folly patch. Oh, I got it. Yes. Let's go. Oh, I look pretty sick, man. I'm not going to lie. Hey, we got it. Plus five. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's another inventory space saved. Oh, this runite bar is actually really important because it's actually an item for some of the elves. I was going to go magpie hunting or kill steel dragons for her, but yeah, I'm just doing some AFK Slayer to end the night. Happy accident. But I also have a totem, so we're going to try to do the 5kc and the no damage taken scotizo tasks as well so that's gonna be interesting so for this scotizo challenge i want to be range potted since i think that's the safest way to go about doing that task without taking damage um you need to get a dwarf weed quickly somewhat but uh, i don't want to have to bring my looting bag for it so i think i'm just gonna fk some banshees uh while i do some editing so i want to imbue this sound for the range bonus and here's a cool thing i can do I normally don't want to imbue this before, but at now you can do this. You can refund the points with my black mass. And then I can just upgrade this if I want to. I can just uncharge and get my points back for my uh, Slayer Helm imbued again. One last thing we can do is we can actually do this as well. For the extra 5% damage. And apparently that's a elite RD task done. I didn't even realize. So that's sick. Even better. So the Twisted Banshees are really nice AFK with range because they can basically never touch you in this area. And they drop a lot of good herbs, so... And of course, uh, the Dwarf Weed, decent chance here. So I guess the seeds are good too. So yeah, there's definitely occasional times I'm going to be doing this, I think, just for the clutch herbs that I need. Yo, this is great. Good thing I stopped at Grave Demons too because Scotizo counts as Grave Demons. Hold on. You might have noticed my POH is a bit plain and underwhelming. But I do plan on pimping out my house after Solve the Elves and 99 Construction. Although, I wish I could add some plushies and LD lights to my POH. Thankfully, I can furnish my actual room with RuneScape LD signs, plushies, and many more cool stuff. Because our sponsor, Creator Crafted, has got all the RuneScape merch. These guys just crafted a bunch of new high quality RuneScape merch from new combat skill LED signs new mouse mats and the soft and squishy room plushies i'm gonna get myself the home teleport one because i just spam that way too much on the ultimate it's gonna go well with my rs led signs in my pc room join in on the fun and decorate your room too with creator crafted goodies use my link in the description or type in the code cup 10 to get an additional 10 percent off which directly supports our channel upgrade your real life poh today with best in slot official runescape merch Holy shit. <laughs> Mystic Gloves Dark. Hey. Hey, we got the Dwarf Weed. Let's go. I want to say... 72? Oh, actually, I couldn't make it, but damn, that would be a plus 4 boost, though. I realize I'm only 10k away from 69 herbs, so we can make the boosting even easier. Alright, this should do it. That means only a plus 3 boost needed. Oh, I can make Antifires now. Cool. Only took four tries. Range bot, easy. Okay, let's uncharge this. Refund my points. Get my 
Slayer Helm back. We got the Ice Burst and the Ice Blitz. So I tested it and the minions can stack on each other so I can Ice Blitz. Uh, we'll alternate between the two. Holy shit, it's like right on me, bro. Oh my god, what the hell? Jagex, why would you spawn it like that? There we go. Now we're gonna land some specs. Hell yeah, both landed. Okay. Alright, now the eye has spawned. We're gonna wait for all the other three to spawn. Alright, I just hope this works, because Verve told me. So. Alright, I think we're good to kill the eyes, though. They shouldn't spawn anymore. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's too close. Jesus, man. He needs to be far away. Alright, sweet. Let's pot up. Oh my god. I think I went a little early there. Okay, we're good. Each spec lowers the demon's defense by 15% attack and strength as well. So I landed three specs. Basically halved. Nice. Okay, the eyes aren't spawning. Okay, Verif is right. But yeah, just keep moving in case the minions spawn. Dang, I'm hitting so good. Oh, there it is. They spawned. Yo, chill, Mother Sugar. Holy. See, they get stuck. See, that's why the blitz is pretty nice. But I gotta be careful, though. It's like, it, it doesn't really last that long. 18, 18. Oh, I got him. Yes. Let's go. And the 5kc Scotizo task. Oh, let's freaking go. Okay, the prep worked out, boys. Oh, and we got a late clue. And I got a dark claw. What am I going to do with this dark claw, bro? Ah, there we go. It is all done. That's that's pretty sick. Oh, I got it. Hell yeah. So we're going to make the dark flippers. Yes. It is time to continue the diaries for Sony Herb. I'm going to start with the heart freemanic tasks, but we need Throne of Miscellanea. I forget, they changed it, so you get XP. Well, upkeeping your kingdom now. Except the kingdom's useless for this character because it needs a bang. Yes? Hey, there we go. Bro, miscellanea done. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do Royal Trouble as well since I'm already here and it's a short quest. Gotta get that diary cape one day. Hey, Royal Trouble done. There we go. Another heart has done. Man, I can't believe I used to mine this for money back in the day. Yay! Hard Freemnik Diaries done. Let's go get that lamp. We're getting close to the last level. Alright, put this on Herblor. 15k, yay. Alright, next we're doing is... Not sure, what can we do with Kandarin? All the way up to hard, I want to say... Let's go for it, but we gotta do Taibawane. Oh my god, this quest is like required for so many steps, uh, diary steps too. Well, even in Kandarin. Alright, well, Taibawane, next. Holy shit, look at this place, man. This guy's got the spears for some of the Taibawane. There's a bunch of occasions where, yeah, you just need a spear. Hey, Taibawane done. Nice. Okay, this spear here, it's pretty nice because uh, we're going to get a rune spear out of it. I'm actually going to use this and the rune H-Helm that I got today from the hard clues to make the hard clue stash unit. There we go. Another super uh, challenging hard stash unit made. Oh, yeah. Taibawane Karamja task done. We're going to make the adamant spear now. Okay, there we go. Should be able to make the spear now. Tell me. Yes. There we go. That's a hard task done. A medium. Kandarin done. Alright. Next is hard Kandarin. I gotta kill a Mithril Dragon, I think. Uh, thank goodness I already have five queen kills. So I can just uh, go ahead and buy the granite body. There we go. Collection log and a diary task. Oh, wow. That was actually so much better than I thought. I only used like basically two sharks hey canter and hard done though most of this but yeah nice more xp lamps take those 28k to 70 all right next is karemja let's do the medium and the hard hey nice medium diary done hey easy zombie x op oh i got it hell yeah nature talisman nice task done Oh, this works. Look at that. You can cook it here. All right, eat it. 
Okay, nice. There we go. Put that on Herblor. 5,000. And then we're going to get another one. Grandma Gloves 3. Putting us at 14k. A okay, easy lumberage done. Also, this Explorer Ring is going to be really good. Even the first one has 30 low Alks, which is amazing for Slayer. Oh, we're good. We're good. We got this. Yay. We did so many quests since the last time I've talked to him. Hell yeah. Nice. We got the kudos that we need. Hey, man. We'll take those. All these 1,000 matters. There we go. This hard one is done. Oh, I got it. Yes. And then that should be hard diary done. Yes. There we go. Okay. This is a big one, boys. Not really sure if there's anything good for the fry card diaries. Oh, right. I guess a lot of battle stabs, but eh, nothing too good. But look at this. We're going to get 15k and two herbal for 70 herbal. Oh my god. Very cool. Some divine stuff. I guess the next big milestone is 78 or 77 for stamina's and Xerix 8s from Chambers. But yeah, this is it. It's done. Solve the elves, Rex, all of it. And we also got some really nice account building with all the diaries too, reward wise. Hell yeah, we just got 90 range. We're just gonna AFK for the rest of the night, trying to finish this totem. Oh hell yeah, I just got my uh, totem. Don't want to slack off here. What? Who is this guy, bro? Who is this guy, dude? He literally sniped the potions right in front of me. Ooh, a leak clue. Nice. Damn, 450 blood runes. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, I got it. Yes. I actually need a cannon time for the song of the elves. That and the rune bar are like the two more annoying things to get, but we got it. Let's go. Okay, it is time to begin one of the biggest quests in old school runescape. Damn, how is this picture so HD? Like, holy shit. How did they just put that in the game? <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. Hey, yo. Nice. Let's go. Three tries. A good uh, hour or two of just walking around. We, and uh, we got it done. Let's go. Oh, what? What the hell? Oh, my God. That scared me, dude. I was like, why can't I dodge that? Oh, come on, man. Okay. Now, nah, I think I got it this time. I just didn't realize that I had to tag them. Uh, good thing I knew the mechanics beforehand, of course. <laughs> one try for that one. Nice. This is my mage setup, boys, for Saren. It's looking decent. 100 plus magic accuracy broke that triple digit barrier. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Got some prayers, some phoenix necklaces to get some free heals back. Some sharks. And we have the blood blitz with the blue moon. And some bronze knives for the clone phase, so... Imagine getting poisoned by this stupid tripwire, but luckily we do have the blood blitz, so... Oh, man! Hell yeah, look at that, we fell down, took damage, and we are blood blitzing our ship back. Oh, I gotta go up? Oh, what? Oh, shit, I'm, I'm already ready. Okay, alright, let's go. Dude! What? Yo, I'm doing so good. I didn't think I was going to be doing so much better. Oh, okay, okay. All right. This is... Okay, we're good. We're good. So if he hits me, I'm just going to use the Phoenix Necklace. There we go. I was doing a lot of damage at the start, but I think I messed up the healing a little bit. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I forgot. Ah, uh, damn, that sucks. Yeah, actually, we could death pile this time. Since I don't have anything hit spore anymore, I lost some of my random items. I'm going to have so much more inventory space now. <laughs> yes. I think Karen Blondes will also secure the bag, too. And then eating the shard put me on, like, mega cooldown, so I couldn't even attack. Mother trucker, I'm back. Oh, this is perfect. I'm, like, max HP. That's right. Okay. I believe... Okay, good yes come on baby 15 i think it's done i think it's done yo let's go spin and win can i do it i can't do it doesn't let me let's go two tries 
There it is. All the elves. Let's go. Definitely the hardest quest so far. Ay, yeah, yeah. Do we get any levels? Because we get 40k each. Damn, not a single level, but hey, 30k to 72 a Joe. But yeah, a lot of good stuff we just access. The better death piling spot. Goblin, of course. But yeah, we're gonna start 99 con grind and of course the journey to the enhanced weapon seed and I guess the armor as well. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, please. Hell yeah. The respawn point when I die. So the respawn point is like right here. The house is literally right there. So, oh my god, dude. What the hell? This spirit tree is ridiculously so hard to spot. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, there it is, the spirit tree. It literally blended in with the environment so hard. So yeah, we can just go back to our house like this. Yep. So this works too. Think I need some assistance, bro. I haven't done gauntlet in like a year plus, but I don't care. You know, I've done so many gauntlets. All right, come on, just die, please. There we go. All right, that should be some CAs too. Oh, damn, four CAs. Let's go. What the hell? How many points did we get? Three, two, one, range, perfect. Hunt, lift, defense doesn't matter. Diet, let's go. One step closer to uh, some. I always say this some hard. CAs. Oh, okay, still a long way to go, but it's okay. Now we can actually do the corrupted. Might go for some CAs in between the grind, of course. But yeah, with these stats though, I don't think we can actually finish all of them. Okay. Ooh, yo, dragon arrows. Blood runes. God dang, this thing just gives so much shift. Okay, we're gonna try tier one armor first uh, with two tier three weapons. Ideally, the staff and the howly. And yeah, we're just going to figure out just how much food we really need for these stats. It's been a hot minute. Yo, are we going to get this kill? Come on. Let's go. We got the kill. Okay, we have... Dang, honestly, it's cutting it kind of close. That was five food. I probably should try to keep the maximum food inventory as much as I can. So that's good. Hey, we got some other CAs done. Sweet. There's so many good CAs here that we could still probably complete. I want to say, like, it's realistic here. Let's look at the uh, Corrupted Gauntlet, for example. I am trying to find it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. There's so many good ones that we can probably do. We'll, we'll look into it eventually. We'll look into it eventually. Let's see what we get. Wow, look at that. So much money. Oh my god. 99 con. Sorted. Also, decent crafting as well. The battle staffs and the uncut gems. Let's go. A very commonly asked question I get is, which weapons should you focus on when doing gauntlets? 100% go for the tier 3 staff. That is the one weapon where regardless if you do not have like the cox prayers or if your magic is low, it doesn't matter. That staff will max at a 39. So the only thing that you got to worry about is accuracy, which will apply to every other weapon. As long as you have the staff, you can go with either Halley or Bow. Bow is definitely more safer, but if you don't have Rigor, of course, your potential DPS is less than a Halley, but Halley is more dangerous. But again, make sure you just have the staff. And of course, if you are not a learner, it doesn't really matter. Just find the first two that you can and just make tier three out of those. Holy shit. That was so slow, even without mistakes. Oh, four minutes. <laughs> hey, Rune Arrows, nice. We're going to do some AFK range training with that. Nice. There you go. Oh, Gauntlet Veteran. Nice. Easy CA. Wow. God damn. The money's so good. 99 con is going to be a breeze. Oh, hey. One. Wait, what? What did I level up on? Oh, 92 hit points. Hell yeah. That's good. I was hoping that hit would kill it, to be honest. Oh, wait, what? We got another CA? What the hell is that? Corrupted Gauntlet Veteran. Okay. Huh, sweet. Damn, literally all these kills are like four minutes long, dude. Holy. Oh, this is a really good spot when it's like in the corner. Drag it. Perfect. There you go. Now you have a lot of space and you can also go around the boss. It's probably like the best part. Because you can do that too. Damn, boys. 
20 food for that kill. Four and a half minutes. Oh, yeah. Definitely on the sketchy. Oh, no way. I got the armor seed, though, for that kill. Rewarded. <laughs> for a uh, close call. Hell, yeah. We got our first armor seed already. Nice. Seven KC in. Let's go. Nice. Damn. Yeah. Four minute kills is like the average, man. Shit. Revy struggles. Damn. Oh, oh, what? Bro. Oh my god. From the unluckiest pet grind on my main account to the luckiest pet ever. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? I got the freaking pet. Back to back, basically. Oh my god. Armor seed into the pet. <laughs> Yo, what the hell, bro? Hey, hey, I'm I was always wondering what my first pet would be on here. Holy shit, it it's the Hunter pet. Alright, sick. Okay, boys, our first ever pet, and it's a really cool one, though. It's a really good one. All right, the back three back didn't work. Hey, 10kc. Anyways. Whoa, whoa, god damn. That is so much money. Oh, no, no. Man, I was so ready, dude. I was so ready for it. Oh, look at that transition different lane Halley walking don't don't do it guys I'm telling you don't don't do it even if you saw me do it oh what no way dude no way bro no way this is the luckiest count I've ever played bro no freaking way dude I need to make money for construction so and we still need at least former armor seed but yes, if we get the crystal weapon scene, we actually green lock this boss. Can you do it for me? Yo, they did that? Okay. So how much is this? Is it 150 shards? Oh, wow. It is only 150 shards. But of course, this is not corrupted. We're not going to use this until it's corrupted, though. So I will be using this a lot, I think. Because, yes, we do want that 99 range. And this is ammo-less. Don't even need ammo. So it's super nice. Even by itself. Holy... Holy shit, dude. This is literally the back-to-back -back or something. So, here we go. Oh, I was about to say, dude. No way. So, you see this stash unit here? This thing can store the Bofa as well. We do have the Crystal Bow, but... Yeah, we're gonna basically just go ahead and uh, revert this, I guess. Yeah, I can still get Crystal Shards off of this. Yes. Alright, we traded it in for a Crystal Acorn because they buff the crap out of a bunch of places where you can get shards. So you get like 24 to 30 shards from one acorn now. And it's also farm XP, so I guess the extra weapon seeds will just do that going forward. The gauntlet also gives like, what, two and a half more, more shards per run now? It's so nice. I did some more general account progression stuff on the side, such as Slayer to train stats. And unlock some more bosses and clues for some important storable items like God Hide and various other things. Enjoy. Pretty nice. Right now we got three different types of bolts, and I'm just doing some regular slayer right now, so I'm just using raw bolts. So I can like basically hold two more sets of things if I want, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You can just basically save one slot if I at least have three types of bolts or break even with two types of bolts. Oh, nice. I just got 77 Slayer, though. Let's go. Hey, look, I got an Ancient Shard, but I don't care because we don't need it anymore. Yo, 91 hit points. Let's go. Okay, I'm glad I, I made the uh, the sound alert for the clues because I would have forgotten my uh, hard clues was going to despawn. So, yeah, thank you, alerts. All right, since we have all this money, I figure we should do family pests. That way, I can just grab whichever gauntlet I want. Because, like, right now, I'm switching between a lot of the Chaos Gauntlet or, like, the Goldsmith Gauntlet. Because, like, this Goldware, for example, that I'm going to use. All right. Give him 500k as the quest. That's literally the quest. Okay, so if I just... Let's talk to this guy. Like, right-click Gauntlet. Should I just get it for free? Hey, that's so nice, man. No more having to go to the other NPC. We're just going to leave these items here. This bolt pouch, I'm going to do this thing called ghost wipe. When I do have to die again, I'm going to purposely leave it there to delete itself. And apparently, you can grab the bolt pouch back and I'll have all your bolts. So I have my rubies and diamonds in there, so it'll save itself. 
Oh, 78 Slayer. Nice. Two more levels for Necrohouse. Alright, 84 Magic. We're getting about 50,000 Magic XP an hour. Doing this uh, water bolting with Chaos Gauntlets on Fire Giants. So these are pretty good tasks, man. Just because of the double damage uh, with water spells. So really, really good magic for sure. I used to kind of gotten sick of Fire Giants. All right, so we got five hard clues. A nice. We unlock this. They don't even have to do troll romance. There's one clue left that I can do, but I'm saving that for like juggling. Let's see. Oh, I got the erotic shield. What the hell? That's hilarious. Look, look, there's this clue I couldn't do <laughs> right here. Ah, rune erotic shield, blue mystic robe. I can actually do it now. All right, sweet. We're, we're going to uh, continue it, I guess. There we go. Step done. But what the heck? This is one of the most ass steps for a hard clue. I'll tell you that. All right. Surprise extra casket. Let's go. Oh, Zamrak stole. Just hit 89 range. God damn. All right. We're going to get this pretty big level here. 82 farming. This is really nice because now I can easily garden pie boost. To plant these two celestial trees and also go into this portion of the farming guild okay we're gonna do this now and we're gonna pay with the potato cacti very easy okay so now we're gonna do this and that should be a elite task done all right it's time to finally work on all these hard clues we got five hard clues though let's see what we get oh sarah legs okay we take that Yo, we're getting trolls so hard, dude. It's just all always dupes. Second to last one. Oh, bucket home. That's huge. Oh, nice. Unholy blessing. Okay, there we go. I got eight easy clues. Hey, we got a new item. Leather chaps. Oh, ancient page one. Let's go. Hey, nice, nice. That's sick. Oh, we got ancient page one. We just need ancient page two, and we actually have our first ever god book completed, and it's a really good one.